and good evening. Um, welcome to a playthrough of Viscounts of the West Kingdom. We're playing a three-player game tonight. We're using Tabletop Simulator. Uh, I did invite the two other players round this evening, but for some reason uh, they can't make it. Probably the fact that they live a few hundred miles away. Um, so yeah, this is an officially uh, approved and scripted uh, mod for the game on, on Tabletop Simulator. Um, Shem's in the chat. Thank you very much, Shem. And uh, yeah, hello to everybody else uh, for joining in. And hello to everybody who's watching this afterwards. Um, this isn't going to be a tutorial. We are just going to be playing through the game. I say it's not going to be a tutorial. I'm a little rusty on the game. So it might be a tutorial in that the other two players might be uh, might be reminding me how the game plays. Speaking of the two players, let's turn the microphone on. And uh, good evening, Mark. Good evening, Paul. Now, you said that Malta's having power cuts at the moment, didn't you? Yep, it's the electricity supply and demand, unfortunately. <laughs> We're a small country. <laughs> so basically, if Mark disappears halfway through the stream, um, yeah, go to Malta and put another 50p in the meter or, or get, the, get the hamsters running around the wheel, whichever. <laughs> we wish that worked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Stevie, how's Helsinki this evening? Um, yeah, it's kind of nice waiting for the storms to roll in, but we've been waiting for the last couple of days, so... Okay. You know, it's a uh, midsummer thunderstorm time. Yeah, we had that. Was it last weekend or the weekend before? Where it was all, you know, because we had the heat wave in the UK and then it was all the talk about the storm's going to hit and we're going to have all of this lightning and every day no lightning. Very disappointed. Very disappointed. Right then. I think that's why the Americans have fireworks in the summer to make up for that. <laughs> yeah. So we have, we've, as I said, this is, a, this is a scripted mod. It's done most of the setup for us. I'm going to be playing blue. Uh, Stevie's going to be playing red. Mark's going to be playing yellow. Uh, the only thing we haven't done is we haven't decided on a start player and we haven't decided on our setup cards. So we'll roll to see who the start player is. One to two, it's me. Three to four, it's Mark. Five to six, Stevie. It is Mark. Right, okay. So here are... The initial card you deal out sets of cards uh, equal to the number of players plus one uh, and this is done in reverse order so if mark is the first player and we go clockwise then i'm the last player which means i get first choice of card oh dear that means i've got four choices to make i should have had a look at these beforehand um because you get you get both the top card and the bottom card so it all depends and i don't know the game very well so I don't know, there might be a pairing here, which is which is actually really good. I don't know. Now, this starting character, that's going to go into my deck, isn't it? Mm. Remind me what the green icon is with the... Um, in fact, I've got Destroy the rule Destroy a here. card. Destroy a so card. So necessarily you'll get its silver. Yeah, you're basically turning your deck. That seems quite good. I quite like that one. I'm going to take this one. So I'm going to take these two cards. If I can pick them both up. There we go. I'm going to take these two cards. I'm going to put them... Uh, this is me, isn't it? Yeah, this is me. Um, oh, what have I done? There we go. So, that character goes into my deck and gets shuffled in. And this card tells me where my Viscount starts. So I start on position two. If you two want to do yours, you are doing yours. So I start off on position two, which is here. So this is where I start. Uh, I also start with... It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six money. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six money. Um, three deed cards and one debt card. And then I flip one of my deed cards over. Is that right? Looks like it. So one, two, three. So I get these. I'm not sure where to put them. Uh, so start player marker. That needs to go over here. Uh, and then one of these is flipped over. And I get a, a deck card as well. And yeah, very importantly is that the deck cards and the deed cards that you take from your starting card um, does not come from the pile there. It comes from the, the infinite supply here. Um, because these two cards here, if you don't know the game, these two cards are timers. When one of those runs out, that's pretty much the end. Uh, well, you finish that round and then play one more round. Now, the other thing that my card gives me is that is that two resources. So I can take either gold, stone, or ink wells. I wish I had a plan. <laughs> I don't have a plan. Right, there's camera two. Let me just set camera one for my board. 
There you go, camera one for my board. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to be doing to start with. Where do I start? Um, at the space with the number here. at the top of the card. Yeah, so I'm here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to take uh, two stone to start with. There we go. Right. And then we draw three cards, I believe. So cards, cards are shuffled. Draw three cards. And I think that's the setup done. Are we, are we ready to start? I'm yes, ready to my end. make an okay. attempt. Right. Off we go <laughs> then. So Mark, if you want to talk us through what you're doing on your turn. Oh, sure. I'm first my glass of up. water. Which is here. So I'm deciding which card I'm going to choose because it decides uh, how much I can move. Mm -hmm. Essentially, I only started with uh, one coin over here. Oh yeah, play raid. That's that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so I'm a bit limited on that. Yeah, you have to flip the card. <laughs> yeah. So you only started so, with yeah, one I'm... coin. Right, okay. Yeah, so I'm with Tide over here and I'm going to move uh, two spaces, mm -hmm. which is one, two. And over here, well, there was one advantage to that card, the fact that I built a building immediately, and that actually gave me uh, two bags, something oh, which, means, which I'm, I cannot use yet. When you do the trade action, you get an additional Yes, I have two, two bags. extra bags, yeah. Right, okay, nice. Okay. So now I've got uh, six bags, which means I'm going to flip my debt. How have you got six bags? That's uh, four on the cards and the extra two from that oh, building. Oh, because, because I only, the slot is empty. I only, yes, I'm only using right. four, however. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six bags, and you're using four of them to flip a debt over, which gives you a resource. That's a good start. Yes, that's my turn, and I'm just going to draw another card. So at the end of your turn, you draw a card so that you've got three in hand again. Right, gotcha. There you go, easy game. <laughs> easy peasy. Thanks. Was it, was it January that I played this, when I was doing my uh, month off work, and doing loads of streams. I think it was January. I believe I so. I think I did a multiplayer playthrough and a solo playthrough. So yeah, it's been it's been five, six months since I played it. I think I've played once since then because it was the three of us in that stream. Was it? Right, yeah. okay. Yeah, yes. this is this is the rematch for the it's, ages. It's the rematch. Did I win? I think I won, didn't I? I can't remember. Well, it's your memory. You can remember it whichever way you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got 4,000 um, points. That's a pretty good turn. Uh, I am going to play the lender. Mm -hmm. um, she gives me two bags and only one movement. Um, and that's you, not me. Aha. So I can just roll up over here. And convert all of and those bags into money. That is probably what I'm going to do, yes. So I have a total of four on my four board, uh, so I get four cash. Yeah. You can't it a boost good... trade icons, can you? Or can you? Well, with money, oh, but with money. I could spend money okay. to make more money. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, which sounds very capitalist, but uh, for now, I think we'll just we'll just play with the icons. Yeah. And I believe that's it for me. Okay. Nothing right. else. So what am I going to do? If I'm here, so from here, if I move one, I'll end up there. If I move two, I'll end up there because I have the options of moving one or two. So I'm I'm thinking that I probably shouldn't have taken stone <laughs> at the start. I mean, playing a trade one at the start seems like a really good thing because you've got that there. So yeah, I think I'll do something similar. I'm going to play that there. I move one. I could pay to move it further, but I'm just going to move one to here. I'm then going to use the two trade bags here and the two trade bags here. It's four trade bags to get myself two gold. I almost stole yours then, Stevie. So there's the two gold. Um, and that's I'll it. rent it to you. Oh, no, there's, there's recruiting as well. Neither of you two recruited, did you? Oh, I um, maybe sort of forgot a little bit. If you wanted to, I'm, I'm happy for you to do that. Uh, she gives me evil things. That's mine. And I already have... Oh, right. Get your hands off mine. <laughs> well, then... yeah, I was going to say, watch out, because Paul is trying to make you spend money. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, this, this fellow's only one. He doesn't seem so bad. 
Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll sure. have recruited him. I'll spend yeah. one. Yeah, I'm going to spend three to recruit this one. So when you recruit it, it goes into your discard pile. Discard. Okay, there you go. And it automatically reveals the top one. So Shem is saying, oh no, Mark, that's because you're asking, can you use the trader bonus coin on the same trade action? Yeah, that's no. actually a rules question I had since the beginning of this game. Well, there you go. You, you've had it answered. I, and... <laughs> so when you say the trader bonus coin, which do you mean by the trader bonus coin? Don't worry, I'll explain that. Is it my turn now? Oh, right, yeah. So, right? It is your go. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I need so, to draw a card. Uh, maybe... So yeah. the thing is, I'm going to play the trader right now, which right. is okay, this card. Trader bonus coin. Oh, yeah, and this means... gives a bonus. Every time I trade, I get a free coin. Okay. Right. But the problem is, it's resolved after the action. Yeah. Gotcha. Right. Okay. Yeah. So basically, right now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags. Nice. Okay. But the thing is, I can, I only have one movement, and I want to move twice to here. So you can pay coins to move further. So I have to pay my coin, and yep. that leaves me with seven bags. So I will only take three gold instead of four, mm -hmm. and I will get my coin back. Right. And I will not hire, obviously. Oh, yeah. Shemi's saying, remember to resolve the top right icons on the cards when you hire or dismiss them from the main board. So I, I just caught that on my guy who says I didn't do that. So because I took the trickster... I have to move my corruption marker one space to the right. Thank you. We did go All through right. that earlier on in the 10 minutes before, but then I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're all good. Yeah, because the icon, the iconography is really good in the game. The graphic design is good. You can see in the top right, it's got the little play icon and the plus icon. Uh, that basically means whenever you uh, dismiss that card, which is the play icon, or you recruit the card, which is the plus icon, you, you do that thing in the top right. So there we go. And yeah, Enrique is here and says the commonly forgotten rule is that you get corruption or virtue when you shuffle your discard pile. Now, where is that printed? I think it's on the bottom of the player aid there. Yeah, when That's you right. shuffle your discard pile, if you've got mm -hmm. any corruption, or sorry, if you've got any criminal markers, you gain a corruption. If you've no criminal markers, you gain a virtue. Now, every time you shuffle your deck. Is it possible that we could rent out your uh, your chat section for whenever we play this game live to remind us of all the things we forget? I, th I think so, yep. Because <laughs> it's quite useful to have, have these onlookers, I think. It is. No pressure, but, you know, quite useful. So is it back to me, then? I think you shall go. Yep. Okay. Yep. Then I suppose I shall do it. I'll move her down, and I will play... Yeah, we'll play her, the card that I drafted. And she says, I believe this is when I play her, I can either yeah. axe someone from my hand or discard pile or blindly from the top of my deck, or I can flip one of my deeds or debts. And yeah. I will flip Destroy one debt. card from either your hand or your draw pile. If you have no draw pile, you can shuffle your discards to destroy from it, optionally. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and when you destroy uh, a card, you get silver equal to its value. Yeah. I'm going to flip a debt instead and take a resource of my choice. Mm -hmm. And because I still have tons of bags available, I need to look to see if that's going to be useful to me. I guess if I'm doing trading, then it doesn't matter which resource I pick. Let's imagine I want to build later, though. I'll take a stone. Um, and then with my movement of one... If I come, I'm not going to get any trading done unless I move again. But that's probably fine. Yeah, that's okay. So uh, I pay one extra to move another space. And then I have more bags than before. I have five available, and I'll pay another one. So I have six, which will get me three ink pots. Just collecting resources. Yep. So constructing buildings, you can only do that around the outside. It costs hammers, either three, five, or seven. And you can use stone in place of hammers. So last turn, if I wanted to, I could have constructed. 
by spending by using the hammer that's here and also two stone for the other hammers. Is that true? Yeah. I think I could have done. I think so. Yeah. yeah. I've hired the bishop and he comes with a debt. Right. I'm all set. Okay, so card shuffles along, covering up some rather nice icons, I have to say. Um, let's put in... I mean, oh, it's it's painful, but I think I, I think I want to do it. I think I want to milk the trade icons while we can, because that's that's six trade icons there um, by playing the journeyman. But I have to move two spaces, so I won't go where I wanted to go. I will just go one, two to here, uh, and then I will spend those six trade icons to get three ink wells. Following the Stevie, get as many resources as you can strategy. Um, <clears throat> Eventually, they'll become useful. Yeah. Now, what I could have done is I could have paid three to dismiss uh, this debt collector first, <clears throat> and that would have given me an extra icon because it's a criminal, but only one extra icon. So that would have actually not been very useful whatsoever. But I think I'm going to recruit it. I'm going to spend all of my money, and we're going to recruit this debt collector, uh, which gives me another corruption. I think I'm going down the dark path. Um, that's it my go good on you, Paul. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, on to you, Mark. My cards move along. I'm going to play my criminal as well. Mm -hmm. Now, when you play your criminal, you get one corruption for every criminal on your board, not just the one that you placed, which for you is just one. It's actually according to the amount of criminal symbols you've got, so some yeah. could have more than one, Yeah. such as this one. Right, okay, yeah. So, after placing my criminal, I can move one spot. I'm going to move over there. I have one, two, three, four, five, uh, six uh, symbols, six uh, back symbols. I'm going to trade, and that gives me six money. Right. Shem's just given me a tip in the chat. Yeah, you're right. I could, if I, if I really wanted to do this, I mean, I was happy with this, but I could have moved to there and then back up to there. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I had to go down, across, and up. I thought it would be three, but no, it's not. Yeah, it's 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 there and then there. So nice. Maybe I should have done that. That's anyway, actually my the, turn done. The number on your card is a maximum. It's not required. What the movement? Yeah. No, you you can never move fewer than it says. It's a minimum. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It is. It is. Yep. Yep. Right. Absolutely. Just page thirteen. Ah. Line no, three. I I just I just read that <laughs> sentence and my brain yeah. <laughs> omitted the word never for some reason. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, the the word never does a lot to change the meaning of a sentence. <laughs> it does. Um. Well, now I need to stare at the board again because I thought I knew what I was going to do. Um. As I say, if you've got a two. Ah, now in your position, it's tricky because you can't go down and then back up. Mm -hmm. You'd have to go down, across, and then up. Yeah, it depends where you are. To go down, across, and then up. Yep. Mm -hmm. But if you've got a silver, you can do it. Oh, I forgot to draw a card. Or maybe I just go one. Who here only costs one? You only cost one. You have unfortunate icons, and I'm broke. Oh, Russ has popped in from for shits and giggles. He's on his break at work. Hope you're having a a good time at work. What have you been teaching at night? Russ works in a, a board game cafe in, in Bristol. So, yeah, what have you been teaching oh, nice. tonight? Twilight Imperium? Gloomhaven? I guess I'll go with the trader because he only has a one. Go here. I can't afford to hire this guy for the day. Hmm. And I could get even more gold, but... I want that building space and collect more deeds. So I have one hammer on my character, two, three more with this stone, and I'll build this building that gives me an extra card in hand in that space and take a deed. That is going to deed, yep. And so I am done. Russ has been teaching Just One and Onitama. Both great games. Really, really good games. Right, that's going to slide to the right. That's going to slide to the right. 
And I think Rudolph is going to come into play. I think he is. Yeah, Rudolph's coming in. So I'm going to move two. Now, where am I? So I could, if I wanted to, go out and back in, but I don't. I'm going to go there and I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to do the inside action. So I've got choices here. I could, um, what's it called? Prescribe a manuscript? I think it's just scribing. Transcribing. Yeah. That's it. Transcribing Transcribe. a manuscript, which would cost me three cleric icons. I have no cleric icons, but I do have three ink rolls. So that, that is an option. I could do that. Or I could do the thing in the castle, which I think I'm going to do. Um, so placing a worker, placing a placing a worker in the castle. I've got one Fleur de Lis symbol here, uh, which means I can do one, or I could spend my gold to do three. Uh, sorry, to do two. Yeah, because it would be three Fleur de Lis. So yeah, let's do that. Let's um, let's let's spend the gold, and let's put two workers and they go in that part of the castle there you could also uh no you cannot dismiss for unfortunately i have no money yeah otherwise yeah. i could have, um, Would have been nice right I, I could have dismissed that yeah there's no way i can um get money is there no right okay so i am done i will draw a replacement card by pressing the right key and it's your go okay so this guy goes off i got one virtue so when and it goes off, recruit. because it's got the X on it, you get the ability, which is recruit somebody on the board for free and gain a virtue. That's correct. So okay. I'm going to recruit uh, this guy over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I managed to take this guy only. Last time I took the took whole the deck. deck. <laughs> yeah. I'll recruit and that, 14 that actually cards. Gives me, mm -hmm, that actually gives me a free reshuffle. All right. Now, the thing is, that is a reshuffle? I'm placing... No, that's not a reshuffle. That's a... Uh, rearrange rearrange cards I mean, on your sorry. player board. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to rearrange in this way. Okay. I'm placing the finance here, which lets me discard a card. I'm going to discard this card. Discard. So it's not and destroyed, I get it's two just coins. discard. Yeah. And I get two coins as well. Immediate bonus. Um, uh, that lets me move three. I'm going to move to, on the inside, and then on the outside. That's two, three. That. Yep. Over here on the coin symbol. I have one, two, three, four, five bags because the skull is uh, wild, now which means I get the money. five coins. Yeah, I was feeling without any cash, so. <laughs> Can I get a loan, please? <laughs> well, um, uh, and no, I do not want to recruit that guy. So yeah, but if you don't mind, Paul, I'm just uh, going to dismiss him because sure. I still get the coin back from the bag that he provides. Okay, so I'm just going. Oh, to you're going to dismiss him, him for a coin and then use the bag that he provides. Yeah, to get the another uh, the coin, coin, anyways. So you're doing that to cycle the card. Yep, exactly. Okay, just so we see the next cards on the end the piles. Okay. Yep. And that that and guy that you ground. dismissed also had a rearrange that you could re rearrange if you wanted to. <laughs> oh, re rearrange. Good. Interesting. Um, well, actually, I could. Yeah. Definitely going to place her back there. If I manage. One sec, let me take that into hand. Yep. And yeah, that's my turn. I'm just going to draw two cards and it's your turn. Stevie. Mm -hmm. All right. So the lender goes, which means I can flip uh, another D deed or debt. debt. And I find myself short on stone. So I'll take a stone. I'm sure it will be useful later. These fellas move over. I think I'm also going to play a journeyman. Question mark. Yeah, let's do that. Let's play a journeyman. Um, and now I'm full up on bags again. Uh, which means, and I'm going to move two. So I can move down and then up and I have four bags so I will burn a thief 
we don't want any of that corruption around here. I make a coin because I have burned the thief. Um, and couldn't have afforded to hire that fella, but I could at the end of my turn hire that fella. So I will hire that fella. And he comes with a virtue. Mm -hmm. And I think this time I've remembered all of my options. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so <clears throat> I could do with another one of those. Uh, I don't have one of those. So, yeah. Okay, so this side to the right, there is an ability on that to flip something over. So I'll flip over this debt, which gets me resource. I'll take gold. And I slide these down. Then I am going to play a thief which gives me another corruption. This is not looking good. Um, I move one, I'm going to move to here, but then I'm going to choose the, the um, place workers into the castle. I'm going to use the fleur de lis from there, the skull from there, and I'm going to use the gold that I just got for another three, which is another two workers. This time they go in there. One of them falls over. Stand up, mate. There you go. And that's me done. Okay. Yeah, I think I did that right. My, my turn <clears throat> done right? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Okay. So uh, this this guy this uh, financier will drop off. No no effect. Move all my cards. I'm going to play uh, Guntra, my hero. Uh, so I'm going to take a uh, debt and flip my deed. Yeah, that's when he that's falls when off he your track, right? Off. Oh, sorry. Yep, my bad. Sorry about that. Yeah, and uh, after placing him, I have two movements. I'm going to move over here on the gold symbol. I have one, two, three, four, five uh, bags. Uh, I'm going to add... another ten bags. Oh. <laughs> which which means I left I'm left with five money. Yeah, but that's fifteen that bags. Means... So you're one short. Oh, sorry. So yeah, I'm just gonna spend another one. Okay. So sixteen eight more, gold. Eight, eight more gold. Or eight more gold. Yeah. Well, we know I... what Mark's gonna be doing. Yeah, and I don't like it. Nope. Well, you're not supposed to. <laughs> wow. He's trying All to score right, more this... points than us. Shocking. This feels like someone who's done this before. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to recruit that guy. So, yeah, you're your, own, okay. your turn. All right, we slide down. Just going to draw up. Mm -hmm. Judith doesn't do anything when she leaves the board. Mm. Let's have the Watchman come out. And I get to move one just to here and I can pay a silver to move a second which mm, got no hammers showing so that's not very efficient to hire this fella and I have all the ink pots I want so I'm gonna pay a silver to move an extra space nope wrong way there we go and with my one flutterly on the card plus the two gold that I have in front of me. I can two workers. drop drop two workers into the castle, which is the last couple times I've played the thing that I've done the least of, and it turns out there's a lot of points on offer in the castle. Yeah, it is important. So, Although Mark's going to turn up going. and dump about 50 workers in the castle, I think. Um, And I think I will hire the defender for one. So I'll add him to my discard pile, but he says shuffle. Uh, and as I have no corruption, that means I get a virtue. And I'm all set. Okay. <clears throat> so this guy slides off. I gain one virtue. And I also recruit somebody for free. Um, we could seriously, seriously go down the corruption route here. Might be very, very bad. In for a penny, in for ten thousand pounds. Well, exactly. I mean, it's. I mean, look at all of these. They're all giving 
quite a lot of corruption, <laughs> to be honest. Um, Someone's been watching all of the DC shows. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, so what's that one? What's that um, swirly arrow symbol? That is, um, while he's on your board, it is always in effect. If it's the one that I'm thinking of. Yeah. And what does the debt collector do then? Is that whenever I get... Yeah, I'm not sure. This is... Um, you When you pay... The artist here is what you're talking about? Uh, this one. Ah, debt that collector. guy says, whenever you flip a debt, you can also flip a deed. Oh, right. Okay. And the artist is... And this one says you spend your gold as two fleur -de instead of one. Right, gotcha. So it's what's on the left of the arrow is what you do, and what's on the right of the arrow is what you get. Right, okay, so... Um, yeah, I mean, let, let, let's just go crazy and see what happens. So I'm going to recruit that one for free, but I still get a corruption. Um, and now I get to play a card. So I think I had... A plan of what I wanted to do, which was to play the labourer and use the uh, two movement um, to move uh, one two, and then use the hammer on the labourer and the hammer and, and the skull on the thief as a wild card, plus one stone to basically build one of these three buildings. Now, do I have to build from left to right, or can I build any of them? I believe it's uh, in uh, any order you want, but the price increases, or the the, the number of victory points they're worth increases as you build yeah. more. Yeah. Okay. And that last one, I think, increases my hand size. That one, the one, I can't I picked. remember what it does. Where? Which page of the rulebook are these all explained in? Um, if they are. It's kind of related yeah. to each action because each one improves a different action in the game. So, uh, if. If I come and look at your board from yeah. left to right, on the right hand it's, side uh, that I'm looking at. Here we go. The second workshop rewards players with one virtue if they have no criminals on their player board during collisions. Yeah. Um, well, I'm getting close. I'm getting close. The third workshop increases my hand limit by one, and the, the first workshop gives me a discard ability each time they hire a townsfolk by any means. Okay, yeah, so every time I hire. I can discard a card. Which is different from trashing the card. It just it essentially it's means just you can through yeah. your deck faster. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's go for that one. So I'm going to build that one. Um, and I can build it, I believe, on any of these two spaces. Yeah. Uh, and if you've got the buildings on both sides of the dotted arrow, you get the thing that's in the middle. The additional okay. bonus, yeah. So I'm going to recruit somebody else for free. There, this is this is going really badly wrong, isn't it? <laughs> this will be fun. You um, hire even more evil I people. am going to hire the Swindler. Look right, at you. Which gives me even more corruption. So that moves to there. And you have a collision. And I'm going to have a collision. So when the collisions are checked, I can't recruit. At the end of the round. So that it yeah, is now. I believe after I have... Well, um, you have you have the option to hire the <clears> next one on the on yep, the pile. But I got no money. And and also also I believe because you just uncovered this one that lets you discard when you hire someone, in the act of putting the building down that said hire someone, you could discard one of the two cards in your hand. Oh, right of course. Right. Okay. Yes, I will. I'll discard that one. Because okay. he's not easy. Yep. Thank you. Uh, but now we resolve uh, the collision. Yes. So the current player's virtue and corruption markers are on the same space. The resolve the effects. So all players that have constructed their second workshop with no criminals on their player board gain one virtue. Okay. Yep. All townsfolk card on the player board that have effects during collisions are resolved. I don't have any of those. The current nope. player gains the items printed directly above where their virtue and corruption markers sit. So I get three coins, three. but and two debt. I get two debts. So one... That's a good exchange. Three two. money for negative four victory points. Yeah, we'll have that. Um... All opposing players gain the items printed directly below where my markers sit. Which is, Which is, if no corruption, then one virtue. Correct. And then I reset my corruption and virtue markers back to the start. And that's it. And then I draw cards.
Now at this point my deck's empty, but I don't reshuffle. It's only when you need to draw cards and your deck is empty that the reshuffle yep. happens. Gotcha. Right. There we go. Let's get okay. these cards out of the way. We don't need them now. I'm going to start moving my cards. I get a debt for the criminal. And I get a coin. Uh, okay. That goes off. This moves here. This moves here. I am going to play uh, my squire, mm -hmm. which gives me two movement. I'm going on the inside. I'm oh, meeting man. with Stevie. Now, something no, happens when you meet. Yeah, we can yeah, rearrange he's... our uh, cards on the board. That's it, yeah. No, you can. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> Oh, it's only the player that you meet, is it? Right, okay. Yeah. So, uh, my next step is to put some workers in the castle. Oh, go. Here we I'm go. Going to, uh, pay... Uh... <laughs> oh, this Max is interesting. Four. Yeah, I'm just going to pay two gold. All right. Which, uh, in addition to my one fleur de lis, means yep. I can pay, uh, place two workers. They go over there. Okay. Uh, following which I will purchase that card. Yeah, nice one. Yep. And uh, after having no corruption, uh, no clashes, I will uh, reshuffle my deck to draw up. And when you reshuffle, something happens. Yeah, I get you... one virtue. Yeah. Because I did not have any criminals at that time. Right. Okay. At that. I draw a card. Yeah. All right, I will start my turn by sliding my cards down. The journeyman leaves the board, so I get a virtue and a free hire. Um, I think I will hire the tinker, who comes with a virtue. So I will have a collision at the end of the round. Then I will play a card to my pile, which... Uh, Shem's just reminded us that there is a bump here. I thought it was, but I thought you said earlier on it had to be three of the same colour, but I thought it was just three. I think it has to be three of my colour. Yeah. Well, let's have a look. I mean, oh, Shem, it's Shem's just that I have to remove your worker, Shivi. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because there can thanks. only be a maximum of three, so you get yeah. one point. Aha. Uh -huh. So... I believe it's one point, right? No, yeah, two so points, if, sorry. If you have three then one goes up and the other two go to the side. And then after resolving movement, you check to see if there are now three workers in another tier section. And then after resolving yeah, all so three tier movements, gets... you do that. Mm -hmm. And then after resolving all movements, there can't be more than three workers regardless of colour in the, in the first or second tier. If there are, you bump off a number of workers until three remain. And workers that are bumped off get two silver. Yeah, oh, you get okay. two silver, Stevie. Or no one virtue if they were bumped off the second tier and a, and a resource of their choice. Right. Thank you very much, Jen. Thanks very it's, much. It's uh, yes. written on the player aid as well over here. Could you bump yourself out? Yeah. No. I don't see why not. Uh, out, yeah. I bumped him out, yeah. You must bump off a number of workers until only three remain. The current player decides which workers will be bumped off. They can even choose their own workers. There you go. Yeah, that's true. Definitive. Um, I think I'm going to play my financier who allows me to discard a card and gain two money. And she says I have to move three places around the board. One, two, three. Uh, I could hire for the day the woodcutter, but I don't think I will. Uh, I think instead I will uh, pay three ink pots because I don't have any crosses on my characters uh, and pick up this manuscript I'll uh, I'll promote you both to admin so that you can delete things uh -huh. it makes it easier there you go well your your player board is within reach Paul that's a dangerous <laughs> decision to promote us um, I've collected four money from my manuscript and now I have the option to permanently hire the woodcutter but now that I've just gotten all this money, I feel like I should hang on to it for a second. So I'm not going to do that and just draw my cards. Okay. Oh, no, I have a collision to do. I'm sorry. Um, so that okay. order again was anybody oh, who has. Yeah. Wow. 
Anybody who has the second workshop gets a free virtue, but I don't believe anybody does. If they've got uh, no criminals, then, nope. And then I get the stuff at the top, which is a money and three beads. And I get... That's bad. And everybody else... Everybody else with a corruption on their board gets a debt. Bad, bad, bad. And I'll okay. sort those out in a second. And then these fellows get reset. Right. That was it, yeah? Okay. I think so. So Rudolph flies off. I'm going to destroy two cards. So I'm going to destroy the squire and the trader. And I believe that gets me three money. Yep. And those are gone. Um, they slide down. And now I'm going to play the financier. And the financier says I can discard a card. I don't have a card, which means I flip my deck over. I put it here. Uh, and I can choose from this deck which one of those I discard. Um, I believe you can only discard the top one, Paul. Can you? I thought it said... It says here, um, if you have no draw pile, you may shuffle your discards... Oh, to discard from it. Yeah, so it's the top card from the shuffled discard uh, pile. <laughs> it's not always a good idea, actually. Well, that's, that's dangerous then. I might choose to not do that. I, I hope you can not do it. The worst that could happen is that you lose some of your corruption. It actually says, this is always optional. So I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I just got the two money. So my deck is reshuffled. Now, what am I, what action am I going to do this turn? I've got three movement. Um, where am I? I'm here. Um, and I've got basically one bag, one hammer, and one skull. So what is it that I actually want to do? I don't really know. Um, let's go one... Two, um, three. Oh no, that's destroy a card. Yeah, no, that's dangerous. So we'll go three. We'll we'll end up here. Um. Yeah. Okay. So. I'm going to um Yeah, we've got we've got this um we've got this debt collector again. Go on, let, let let's try it. Let's go for a seriously heavy corruption strategy. So I'm actually going to Oh no, that you dismiss them, don't you? You dismiss them to get the icon. Yeah. Uh is it worth it? No. No, I don't think it's worth it. Um so I'm going Who to choose... are the pet shop boys, Alex? Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to choose to do the manuscript thing. So I've got one cleric icon there, and then I use two ink wells to basically scribe this, which allows me to recruit for free. So we we flip the top one over. Um, so yeah, I recruit somebody for free, and whenever I recruit, I can discard a card, but I don't have a card. Um. So what we're going to recruit for free? Well, let's recruit uh, not the one that allows me to destroy a card. Go on, let's recruit the deck collector. <laughs> let's keep up with this so I get another corruption. Um, and then if I want to, I can now hire. Um, but no, I don't want to hire. <clears throat> so I think that's it. I think that is my go done. And now I'm going to draw three cards from my deck. And yeah, I'm done. Cool. Shem's confirmed that discards and destroys are always optional. So yeah, I mean, it says in the rule book, always optional, which is good. So my trader guy finally goes off. I move my cards. And I am on oh, So technically, there, I would have shuffled so... my discards before drawing at the end of my turn, which would gain me one corruption. The deck collector would be shuffled in too. Ah, right. Yes. Good point. Good point. Let's put them back in. Because I think I did, I moved them across too early, didn't I? Because I didn't draw. So they would be there. 
I'm now reshuffling because I have a thief there, I get a corruption. And then those go over. Thank you very much. And I draw three cards from there. Yeah, it's the timing of it. I moved the deck over too early. And yes, Mindy, so I did forget to, to get the corruption. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to place the journeyman now. Mm -hmm. Again. Which lets me move one, two. I have uh, five bags. I will use one coin to get six bags, and that's another three gold. That's an insane amount of gold. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just going to draw up. Your turn, Stevie. That's a lot of gold. Those aren't gold ingots. Those are bullets in a gun. I just want to say that. <laughs> um, <laughs> the watchman slides down and he lets me off somebody. So we're going to off the laborer and get two coins for him. And these fellows slide down. We're going to play the foreman who, when I play him, lets me off somebody. So we're going to off the squire uh -huh. and get More two coins. coins for him. And then I've got to move twice and can build something. Two gets me another one of those. Or I could trade. That Mason doesn't look terribly appealing. I guess it's... Yeah, that doesn't really... Hmm. Let's do that. Let's move two. Let's move one and two. Um, and then I can pay a coin to get the services of the uh, mason. Uh -huh. So he's discarded. That's gone. And he comes with a rearrange and also a bag. Oops. Yeah, a rearrange and a bag. So that means that my trader can stay on my board for longer. And that you got gives four me a total, bags? total of four bags, yeah. So I can yep. do one flip. Yeah. Um, so let's continue to flip debts. And I'll collect a gold with this one. And I get a coin from the trader. And I think I think I'll go back and do another one. Uh -huh. So I spend four and flip my last debt and get another gold with it. Nice. And at this point, I'm done. Okay. So my thief slides off, getting me a coin and another debt. And then these all slide down. And I'm going to play... I had a plan. It's going to be Rudolph. So Rudolph comes in again. I've got two movement which is one, two. I am then going to use the fleur de -lis here, and I don't have any other ones, so it's just one, to put a worker into there. Now, I now have three workers into here. So one goes there, one goes there, one goes there. The one that went up gets me a stone and an inkwell. Uh, then I resolve here, one goes there, one goes there, that goes there, and I flip something, and I'm going to flip this. Oh, I don't know if that's right or not. No, I flipped and I flipped two of them by accident. Yeah. Um, so that's that. Then, because there's three things in here, we're going to we're going to bump marks off. So you get that back, and you get two coins. And then I am going to pay two coins to recruit this debt collector because, you know, he comes with corruption. And that's what I'm all about. One, two. And I think that's it. Paul, can I say something incredibly difficult right now? You can. I think I moved your Viscount on my turn. I think you did. <laughs> because I usually play blue and I get tunnel tunnel yeah. vision about, about player color. So I've worked I out. I, I think I was here. 
Yep. And I'd I think all out. I have, if I'm going to move myself here and deduct a coin, which would have been yeah. one, two, three to move. And then I think we're okay. Yeah. So I, I'd worked out I could go here. Yep. And then when I was here, I thought, oh, I've, I've, I've looked at it wrong, but I can Just still go. Just one, two. So we're, yeah. we're, all, we're all good. We're all good. Okay. Uh, right. Over to okay. Gold Dragon Mark. I've... <laughs> so Guntram will fall off now and he will get me. Oh, that's nice. Now he can get me a deed and flip me a debt, which means I get yet again another gold. Another gold. Shem saying that the names of his next trilogy will be released in about a month's time. Excellent. Well, if you're interested in somebody doing any coverage of them when they're available, let me know. Oh, yes. Start placing your so, bets. Yeah, I'm going to place my finance here. Mm -hmm. Which gets me two coins, lets me discard a card. I'm going to discard this card. And I need to move three. And I will move one, two, three. I will uh, put down three workers, mm -hmm. which is uh, four gold. So it's one, two, three. Now, thankfully, you don't kick one me out because... No, yeah, one moves here, one moves here, the other comes up there. And I move, uh, instead of getting the other gold, I will move this worker over ah. here. And there you go. And one sec. There you go, Paul. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> and I get two coins. One, two. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah, I guess, is that it? One sec. Yeah, that's it. Just gonna draw two cards. Mm -hmm. All right. Actually... So I'm pretty sure here. on a podcast about six months ago, Shem said that he was actually doing a trilogy of games set in Columpton. <laughs> mm. uh, I mean that that's that's what I heard. So, but is it is it Eastern or Southern Columpton? That's, it's, that's it, the question. It's def definitely Southern Columpton. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna play my. I guess I should be opportunistic. That seems like the right thing to do. So I'm going to play my bishop? Question mark. This is saying if I do any transcribing, I get a corruption. Might be the day for the church to lead me astray. Mm, it's never happened but to anybody before, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and he's three movement points. And I'll look at the red token now. I think that's a good idea. So let's go one, two, three. Yeah, that's it. In the chat, post what you think the uh, the games are going to be called. We've got the Cats of the South Coast or the Sires of Southern Columpton. Yeah, these all sound like great names. <laughs> And uh, I'll spend one of these ink wells and gain a corruption to transcribe this manuscript. I'm going to now invent a headcanon that this evil bishop is not transcribing them, but he's defiling them. Shocking. Um, that gets me a deed. And I believe that's... Oh, I could hire... Acolyte, and it would get me a discard. I think I'm going to do my cards like you've done I like, those. I like the cards in my hand, so go ahead. Gaining a virtue as I reshuffle, because I am skullless, completely not corrupt. Don't look at the bishop. Right, so the laborer falls off. Nothing happens to him. These can long, and what are we going to do now? I think we're going to play the antagonist, which is, just for something different, it's another debt. Mm. Um, right, now I've basically got two wildcard icons. I'm moving three, but I've got two wildcard icons. So where do we want to end up? I think we'll go one, two, three. 
and we will use those two wildcard icons. Um, actually, do we want to do that? Because I've got other things on there. This is a tricky one. I possibly think about dismissing this guy, except I'm not really bothered about the rearranging. So that's spending three money just for one additional hammer, uh, which is not really worth it, I don't think. So, yeah, let's... Hmm. Just thinking whether I want to... No, 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 we'll stick with the plan. So two, two schools plus a stone uh, is another build. And this time I'm going to build that one, which goes here, which gets me an inkwell, but also gets me a virtue. So there we go, got another wink. Well, got a virtue. And there was something else I was going to do. Do I want to? No, I don't want to recruit that guy. So yeah, that's it. I thought there was something else, but there isn't. Oh, hand size, that's it. My hand size is now four. So I get an extra card. Right. Okay, so my squire. He's asking me if I took a corruption. I th I didn't actually. When I played the antagonist, I should have taken two corruption when I played the antagonist. Yeah, thank you. I did forget that. So actually, I've got another collision. Which meant you had a clash. Oh, not again. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Everybody gets a virtue if they have no criminals. Thank you. This this is going to be a short game, I'm afraid, because I I'm I'm taking all of the deck cards. Like a silly amount of deck cards. There's six left already. So many, I'm going to have to start another row. It works out fine for me. I've got all the deeds. Yeah. So I have finally played the artist, which means oh, my God. gold costs twice. Uh, give me double flirtily. Mm hmm. And it's yeah. becoming crazy now. Money to yeah. pay off oh, the debt. Only so now. Mean... Only uh, now is it becoming crazy. How do you pay off the debts yeah. apart from cards that allow you to pay off debts? Or is this an end game That's thing? It. No, the 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 cards that let you, well, there's uh, trading spaces that let you pay off debts as well. Right, which is money. Mm hmm. Yeah, which makes sense. Or bags. Mm hmm. I took the debt. You collector. can have. Okay. Yep. I need to get the debt. So I'm moving uh, three, right? Yeah. Which same. means. Hmm. Let's see. So that's one. Does this go up? Yeah. That's two. Nope. So that's not good. One, two, three. I have to go here. Is that correct? Have to go one, two, three. Okay. The artist one, is one per turn. It does say on there times one. What? The artist. Oh, yeah. So once yeah, per fine. turn, you can spend one gold as if it was two fleur de -lis. But I will move in this way instead. So it's uh, one here, mm -hmm. two, three, four. That means I will spend one gold. Okay. Uh, one silver, sorry. And I will now place um, three workers, which means one, two, three, four, and five from my symbols. That's correct? Yeah. Yep. So, so with, with three gold, so I'm putting three, uh, workers three workers. Oh, this is going to get messy. Yep. Uh, this is not going to be easy. Oh, just so basically one there. moves yeah, here, one the other one moves there. there. I get two virtue. That's it. Yep. And yeah, that's it. And um, after that action, I get... Uh, well, I'm going to the collision immediately, which means I get... Uh, if any one of you has any criminals on their board... Me? No, no, no. Get, no criminals uh, here. No, no, definitely not. No? Yeah, you nope. get the corruption. <laughs> <laughs> and I get two deeds and a coin. That's my turn. I'll just draw up. Mm, I wanted to ask... Lack of familiarity with the game. 
this manuscript mm -hmm. here is mm -hmm. this end game yeah. points per yeah. yes that is one point per uh cross symbol you've got on your the cards in your deck at the end of uh, the game okay so we'll go through the whole deck yeah 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 all right fair enough then that's might be my goal hmm why can't i just stay here and buy this um well, well let's move the move cards one anyway. two three four five hmm likely story um there continues to be no symbols that i want to buy on those guys so let's take let's take the lender and flip one of these victory point cards and nope sorry that happens when she leaves the board not when she comes out um so then we're gonna move one to here she does not help me except for to give me the reshuffle but it is a three cost reshuffle so let's not spend three on a reshuffle or rearrange let's instead oh i've planned so poorly i have planned very poorly i guess i need to move on this is not a good place to stop Bat country. Um, and only three bags. This was a poorly planned turn. Who did this? <laughs> um, yeah, let's spend one extra and go up the up the creek, and then I've got three bags plus one money for two ink pots. That's not an ink pot. Um, at any rate, I won't have a collision this turn, and I'm not going to buy the woodcutter, so I'm done. OK. So we slide things off. No effect for the financier leaving. I will play the lender. Um, I move one. I'm going to move to here. Um, but then I'm not going to use the lender's bags. I'm just going to use the two schools and the fleur de -lis to add two workers into here. Uh, one of which goes here, one of which goes here, one of which goes up here. And I can, if I want to, move something to one side or take a gold. Uh, I'm tempted to move one to one side. It all depends what I'm going to do next. And it also depends what Mark's going to do next. Hmm. Mm, but, but Mark's turn will come before yours, Paul. Exactly. So I think I'm just going to take a gold. Yeah. And that's me. Uh, do I want to recruit this one? Uh... I think I do. Yeah, I've got cards here, which I'm starting to regret taking. But I, I'm going to recruit. So one, two, three. I'm going to recruit uh, this one. Uh, when I recruit, I can rearrange. So I will move that one to there and I think that one to there. And also when I recruit, I can discard, which I will, I'll discard. Right, done. I draw two cards. Yes. Okay, so Monica's in the chat. She said she's passed 100 plays of Explorers of the North Sea. Wow. Wow. Congratulations. So I, I haven't played, I've played all of the West Kingdom series. I've played Architects once. I've played Paladins twice, and I think this is my third or fourth game of Viscounts, but I haven't played any of the North Sea series. I've heard good things about them. Raiders with the expansion is quite good, and okay. I'm not just saying that because Shim's listening. Right. Uh, <laughs> haven't played the others yet, though. Okay. I'm assuming they're all available so on Tabletop German... Simulator, but mm -hmm. too many games yeah, they are, time. I believe. And Journeyman falls off. I get one virtual. I get uh, to... 
uh, recruit for free. I will recruit this guy over here, mm -hmm. which gives you me uh, one virtue. Getting you a virtue. I will play the, mm, the gatekeeper, which lets me, uh, which gives me a free uh, either a rearrange or a discard of cards. I will rearrange, which means I will put the gatekeeper in the second spot. Okay. Yeah, that really can be which, really useful. Yeah, so I have one point of movement. I will spend two coins. That's one, two, three. To come next to you, Paul, you have a free rearrange. Oh, I've just done a rearrange. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and after which I will pay. Now I have two fleur de lis. Three, four with one gold. Five, six, you seven, eight. That's five gold. In this Three case, people? to put uh, four, actually. Four? Yeah, because I've got that bonus. Ah, uh, right, yeah. And four will go four over people. there. Wow, right. Which means, let's start. One, one will come there, here, the other will go there. over there. This one will go up. Yeah. And what will I do with that one? I will move this one over here. Yeah. Which means that one will go up one. there. I will get two virtue. There you go, two virtue. Nice. And is that it? I believe so. Okay. No, I said, I said so, to myself before we started this one that this was the game that I was going to build stuff in the in the castle. And uh, you have. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 That's <laughs> true. As, kind of. Counts as stuff. I have also gotten uh, another virtue by buying the uh, recruiting the overseer. Right. I think I think Mark had that plan from the start get lots of gold and I'm done building the castle my strategy has been play the game to remember the rules which has worked <laughs> congratulations yeah <laughs> no I, I I mean this is a game that I would you know given time I would like to play this multiple times because I think I'm relearning the rules of it today and not playing very well at all but there's definite strategies there's definite choices and there's definite learning what cards are going to be good for you in what situations. And I, I'm not at that stage. I find myself Funny hitting... thing is mm, every uh, tactic has its own worst enemy, in my opinion. So mm -hmm. Joel is asking how virtuous the right I am. Spot. Well, yes. Ooh. My, my virtue Very marker so. has, has stayed <laughs> here pretty much the whole game, whereas this nice corruption marker has been continually moving to the right. <laughs> you really need some way to uh, flip those de uh, depths, but I I do, don't I? Yes, I've got yeah. one way, but mm. that's about it. In fact, if it's okay with you, oh no, that's going to be a nightmare. Um, yeah, no, that deck collector is actually not that good. Thought he might be quite good. Feels a little silly spending so much yeah, if it's money okay you, running we'll, around the board. We'll do that rearrange from earlier. There you go. That's fine. And I have a plan of what I'm going to do on my turn. That's, so I have that's uh, always good. <laughs> no, it's not going to be. Good. I'm just going to run around and flip my deeds. I think that's my that's my mm -hmm. goal for this game. Um, nothing. Do I want to buy a stone cutter? I have to discard someone. I think I'm fine not buying the stone cutter. Go ahead. Uh, right. So this guy dropped off. I can destroy two cards or get two resources. So I think I'm going to. Destroy the abbot for two money. And I'm also going to destroy the swindler for three money. One, two, three. Right, so those cards are gone. Yeah, I mean, that swindler, I, I recruited it, got the corruption, cost me three money, and then I destroyed it and got the three money back. So probably wasn't a good thing to do. But anyway. Um, 
I'm then going to play the Debt Collector, which unfortunately gets me three Corruption. <laughs> Oops. Um, and I'm moving three spaces, but I've got three wild icons to do whatever I want with. So... Yeah. Uh, let's go... One, two, three, and spend those three wild icons to take that. Um, and with that, I will get a resource, and I'm going to take another inkwell. Yeah. I think that's it. Do I want to recruit? Ooh. That's not a bad question, actually. I thought you were allergic to these white icons. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's actually looking really bad. <laughs> I mean, I can't play any more corruption now. That's just that's just silly. No, I think I think I will. I think I'm going to recruit this one for two money. Um, so that cost me two. My virtue marker moves to there, and because I recruited, I can discard. And I will discard. It's not a discard ball. Problem now. It's one virtue because you recruited. Yeah, I did that. Okay. Yeah. But I, I'm, it's because I've got this workshop. Oh, okay, yeah. So You're fine. You're yeah, be, because yeah. I because I recruited, I can discard. <laughs> the problem is, oh, I'm going to have to reshuffle anyway. So, yeah, yeah I, I, I will discard and then I draw back up. And I'm going to have to shuffle that, put it over. Uh, and then you also I've get the corruption, don't you? I get another one. Now, does that happen Not now? Sure. Mm. No. no. Because it it's a, during your draw phase, it's exactly. afterwards, yeah. Exactly. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's my round. Yep. Uh, go to the merchant space yeah. above on my next turn, flip four debts. Yeah. So the merchant space I'm thinking of going to, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, I believe it's the one where Stevie is. That one. No. Yeah, so I Wait can't a sec. How are you going to go there? there next turn. Well, you can pay to arrive there. You've got oh, 12 yeah, points. Oh, yeah, I can go a long right? way around. I can go one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay, so I'm dropping the financier here, uh, moving these uh, these guys over here. I'm my next turn. I am playing my uh, thief, which gets me uh, one corruption. Because it's a criminal, after which I can move one. I will move one to here. And I will now pay one, two, three, and four, five. So I will pay one gold. So I have five Lerdely that way. And I can place uh, three workers over here. Oh dear. One moves here. Yeah. One moves there. Another one comes up here. Mm -hmm. I can either destroy a card, I will destroy this card, which gives me two coins. And is that it? I believe so. Yep. And now I have a collision to resolve. Or wait a sec, where am I? Yeah, that's not okay. So I will resolve the collision. If anyone has criminals, they get one corruption. Oh. So does that move both of my markers? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh. I get two deeds. <laughs> and a coin. That's terrible. They will just draw. So that's my round. Six of each. Yep. Marcus said and, I'm uh, not going to be left behind in this deeds thing. Uh, this does mean, though, that if I gain any more corruption now, it actually has no effect on me because I'm so far down the corruption line. Things the Joker would say. Mm-hmm. Are you all set, Mark? Yes. Done. I reshuffled and I got one corruption because of the thief. My bishop falls off. Play the defender. Walk one. I'm going to build this turn. So another three cost building because I should have built this one a long time ago. There have been so many collisions where I didn't get a free virtue. Um, but let's build that. And we'll put it in this space that flips a victory point card. And... I am going to hire this fella for two, which means I get a virtue. And 
That is all she wrote, I think. All done. Yep. So the Linda goes off. I get to flip one of my cards, and I will flip a debt. And then because of my debt collector, whenever I flip a debt, I flip a deed. I get a resource for doing that. So I will take... It's a, quite efficient. I'll take another inkwell. Uh, these slide down. And... Yeah, I'll just play another debt collector and gain four more corruption, which I can't have. So... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Um, I move three, and I've basically got four wild icons to do with me whatever I want. Um, well, that's true. Please. So I could go one, two, three, but I kind of want... You could go flip your de the dead spot. Uh, yeah, I could, but I'm mm -hmm. thinking of doing something mm -hmm. different. Um, yeah, so I'm moving oh, three, I'm moving three. Yeah, so one... Uh, one, two, three. I could end up there. Yeah. So I go one, two, three, and end up here. And then I build. Um, and I will use my... Well, I've got four wild icons, and I've got a stone. So I, I will build that. I'll, I will build something for five. Um... So it'll be one of these three things here, and that gives me extra movement point, uh, coin whenever I dismiss, or an extra two trade icons. So I'll have an extra two trade icons, and it's going to go on here, which gets me a gold, for making the link, but also I get to flip two of these over. Now I could flip over two of the deeds as well, but I don't have two deeds. I get two more resources. Um, so let's take, oh, yeah, good question. Um, I'm writing thinking that you can only recruit on, the, that you can only build on the side of the river that you're on. Yes. So rather than that, I might actually go there. So let's undo this. Mm -hmm. Let's put the gold back. Let's flip those two back. I didn't do that, which means what resources did I take? Did I take? No, I didn't take any resources. Um, but instead, we'll get a deed. Right, I think that's right. I think I successfully undid. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's um, okay. So I am done. Do I want to recruit? What's the recruiting bonus? Destroy a card. Do I want to destroy a card? Hmm. No, I do not want to destroy a card, so I will just draw a card. Okay. You're done. Janos is here and says, can you flip two debts? Um, oh no, it's one. It looked like two. Sorry. Yeah, it's one, it's one debt, and you're right. I did flip two, but I undid it. Thank you very much. How many rounds okay, are left? So my gatekeeper we we don't worry about things like mm. that, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a castle so, flip um, spot as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a few ways of doing it. Playing my financier, discarding my builder, a laborer. Oh, I'm really uh, enjoying this now. Coins. <laughs> I need to play again. I can move three spaces. That's one, two, three. Stop over there. Um, yeah, I'm going to place uh, workers. Ooh. So I got one, two, three, four, that's a five. Three workers. Where's all your gold gone? Spent it. Mm -hmm. And oops, I go. think I lost the worker, did I? They're on the rampage. Okay, one goes here. Oh, here one we go. goes here. This one goes up. Yep. And I get to flip a debt or a deed. I only have uh, deeds to flip, so I will flip one of those. This one goes up. Uh, let's me rear, uh, let me do that at the end. So this one goes up. I get okay. a stone and an inkwell. One stone, one inkwell. Following which I will, uh, yeah, move this one up. 
Let's me move one of my workers sideways. I will move this one here. Nice. Um, uh, this one moves up here. You get me one gold. And you get the uh, king of the oops. castle card. Gold. Yes, thank you. I will also uh, does then that increase move this your one hand up size here. By one? Sorry? Does that increase your hand size by one? Yes, yes, it does. Right, I move okay. the other worker up here, which gets me uh, another gold. Wait. Do I want that gold or not? Yes. And following which, this one will go up here and gets me another gold. Mm -hmm. I think I should be done. Shem saying, don't forget to move right. the other four workers sideways, but I think we've done that now. Yeah. I think it looks All good. of them should be moved. Yeah, that's me. And no collisions. Let me see where I am. No recruiting. I will just draw up to uh, four cards. Have we done the castle right? I think we've... So, so Shem's saying that some errors are being made in the castle. Well, what, what have we done wrong in the castle? I thought we did that right. Yeah, I started with the first level ones. Mm -hmm. I moved some of the guys just to pop up again. Yeah. Then I did the second level and the second level again, basically, yeah, because we, uh, the guy came right. up twice here. Uh, every move should have also moved the other two sideways. Oh, so this one should have come here, and this one should have come here, right? right? Okay. That's Which basically means to... I get to flip another deed, that's all. Yeah. Right, so ev we every... We regret to inform you that you have not comboed enough. Yeah, every group of three... <laughs> Yeah, so I think we're done now. I think we've sorted it. Jim's popped in the chat. Uh, Jim asks a very good question that I'm surprised nobody has asked yet. Um, I have played all three of the West Kingdom games. I've only played Architects once. Uh, I've only played Paladins of the West Kingdom twice, and I've played Viscounts of the West Kingdom three times. This is my favourite one. Uh, I definitely preferred this to Paladins. I only played Architects once, and that was when it came out. So I'd have to play it again, but I, I think this is my I think this is my favourite one. Uh, Shem is saying that one from the middle would still be in the lower tier. So we we definitely did something yeah. wrong. <laughs> but this guy came from here, so it did. Yeah, but then you would move up again on the flip spot. I think I I think it's okay. Yeah, I did move up on the flip spot, so it, it, it's near enough. We can go right, back and watch I'm the gonna... video later and and, and check it. But... Yeah. I'm gonna flip a deed. I'm just over here doing my two two point turns. You can have your thirty five actions and all. Oh, this stuff. I think he means. Is it but, when I move this? No, no. I mean this is fine. I think it was fine. Yeah. Apparently the. Oh, okay, the, I get. The... I get it. What he means when I came up over here, Paul, for the yeah. stone and the inkwell. I should have moved this one to the left and this one to the right. Right. This it is what they're saying that this one should have moved up. Wow. A flip, and this one then goes up. Yeah, they're right. Okay. So right. basically, that's uh, a flip and a gold, yeah. It's even better. It's even better. I mean, I know it was good for me, but I don't want to push it because, yeah, yeah let's Thank just you, say this was good. Uh, Mark, you can have a rearrange because I've stopped on your space. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Mm. Appreciate it. And then I'm going to buy this. Do I want to pay money for the... I'm running out of dude, uh, out of cash, and I think I'd rather hire him. So I'll buy this. Yeah, my one game part? of Architects I did play was with the maximum uh, play account, I think. And that gets me one of these, and one of these, which I'll muck about with in a second. Okay, Shemi's saying one from the middle should still be in the lower tier. <laughs> so the two workers that you used to move them up wouldn't have been there at that point. I think just pop pop that one down and then let let's call it let's call it there. Yeah, that'll do. Right, let's flip this over. And that gives me a discard. I'm 
draw one out of cards. So I get another virtue. So you reshuffle, you get a virtue because you've got no criminals. And then I'll draw another one. I think I'm done. Okay, so the antagonist disappears. My two deck collectors shuffle down. And then I'm going to play... Now I did have a plan of which one I wanted to play. Uh, where am I? I'm here. So I'm one, two, three, four, five away from that space, which is a little bit far. Um, yeah. There's a lot going on there, isn't there? In the castle. It's full of yellow. It's a big sea of yellow. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the... The Vicar, and when I play the Vicar as an immediate effect, I am going to destroy a card. So I'm going to destroy the Journeyman. He own the two coins. Uh, then I'm going to move two spaces. So we will move one, two. Uh, Am I happy with that? Do I want to move extra? I think I might want to move extra. And by the next turn, I'm going to be doing that. Hmm. Okay, so no, I'm fine. I'm fine with two spaces. Uh, and now I'm going to take this tile here. So that needs five church icons. Oh, I, re I unlocked the wrong one. Ah, right. So I've got one, two, three four, five, and I take that, which is end game scoring. And I then draw two cards. Oh, but before I draw two cards, I've got a thingy, which I possibly should have done last turn. I can't remember. I might have missed the thing. I've got a collision. Um, so <laughs> I get three debts and four coins. Uh, and if you don't have any corruption, you actually gain a deed card. There we go. Oh, yeah, two of one and three of the other. I may have forgotten that collision last time. Ch chat, place your bets. Which runs out first, the debts or the deeds? Well, how many, how many is left, did you say? Two of each. Uh, no, two, two of one and three of the other. Three deeds. Yeah. Right. I need to not get any more corruption now. I really need for it to be debts that finish first if I'm going to have any chance of winning this game. <laughs> but I'm not sure I have any chance left. I'm just going to hold on to my hope. Yeah. So where did my corruption go? So every time there's a collision, you resolve the collision, and then your markers reset. So I am, my corruption marker is back there. But yeah, it's not going to be long now. Because I keep, yeah, this is, a, I, I think I might be on negative points. <laughs> Just don't forget if I finish. Oh, I was talking to my microphone, which was uh, switched which was off. off. That's nice. Yeah, I'm like, uh, don't forget if I finish the debts, uh, the deeds. Sorry, you can finish the debts afterwards. Anyways, yeah, because yeah. mm. it's uh, a whole full round followed by a whole full round. Isn't yeah, it? finish the round and then play one more round. Yeah, given that I'm the first player. So, yeah. uh, so one of the other things so. that I haven't played is that there is a is it the Thomas Saga or something. Which links, Tom Saga, yeah. it links all yeah. these three games together so that you can play them in a campaign. I don't have that. Um, a friend of mine has that. So, yeah, maybe uh, maybe I can borrow it off him and, and give him a play. But I don't have Architects either, so I'd have to borrow Architects off it him. It does turn it into a cooperative uh, game, though, Paul. So. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I'm, all, I'm all about the cooperative so I'm games. Playing... Okay. I'm playing my Obers here, uh, which means I get to move two. I will pay an extra coin to move three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Come over here. Um, I have uh, three fleur de lis. That's four, five. I guess that's enough because I only have three workers left. Right. I'll put them over there. Right. And let's do this properly let's now. Let's do this properly. So I'm placing them over here for now. Yeah. Which means one comes here, the other goes over there. 
Yeah, one and up. one comes up here, and I yeah. get two virtue. I yeah. will start with that. Following which, I will go over here. There's three. One will come here. The other will go there. This one will come up, yeah. and I can burn it's a card. I will burn. I will actually burn uh, my square, which gets me two coins. Following which, uh, is the same thing with these three. One goes here. One comes here. This goes up. And I get uh, four, uh, sorry, two, two virtue. virtue. Uh, the thing is, with the main action over here, I will get another virtue. I'm just doing it now, the overseer uh, effect. Yeah. Okay. Um, now I'm tr going to try and resolve the upper uh, stage here. So it's, so just... it's uh, one goes up. Yeah, yeah. That's it, I guess. Yep. Yeah. And I get a gold. Uh, and wait. You've got no. Another three. Yeah, I'm going to change it with uh, stone instead. And then the other three, another one goes up, and I get another stone. And then I think now I that's have. Uh, yeah, now I have a uh, collision over here. Yep. So... Uh, which means I get uh, two, de two deeds. And I and get a corruption. A coin. That's my turn. And okay, cool. Then the journeyman falls off. Uh, you did get. I got a virtue. Benefit. Yep. You got the virtue because of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Journeyman falls off, which would give me another virtue that I can't use in the moment. Um, but I do get a free hire, and I'm getting points for crosses at the end of the game. Uh, Leslie's so saying move them to the side like in the bottom tier. I don't think you do that. You, you you only move them to the side for the bottom tier. You don't you don't move them to the side for the middle tier. In fact it's shown with the arrows on yeah, the bottom the tier. Of Took a free purchase. These fellows fall down. And I feel like time in this game is maybe running out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, she gave me a oh. shuffle, which I also can't use. Um, mm -hmm. But I'll perform it anyway. Oh, sorry, the, for my big I can use the shuffle, but the shuffle gives a virtue that I can't use. Then um, I have to decide who to play. Mm. No ink pots. No cheap manuscripts nearby one two three maybe that's the one i want yeah let's do that so bishop comes out um i'll move three and give mark another rearrange which i'm sure he's not unhappy mm -hmm. about thank um, you could pay to hire the stone cutter but i think i passed on him once before i have three these so even though i've gained two extra virtue that i can't use this round i will gain a corruption because of the bishop and because of timing right. how sad um but then the manuscript gives me a virtue when i purchase it so i'll go back to where i was um and then i have the option to purchase the stone cutter but as he does not have a cross on him i am apparently and i'm also can't afford him i'm not interested so uh, then we process my collision, mm -hmm. and I will get a coin and three more deeds, thus running out the deed deck. And what do I get? Uh, I get a debt. I get a debt as well. So that is it. Which finishes the debt. Yeah. But, yeah. So we finish this round. So we have, you have two turns left. Well, I yeah, both the decks have are, one turn left. Yeah, both the decks are gone, and neither, none of us can take any more deeds or debts, right? Yeah. Uh, no, we can still take as much as we want. You still get them from oh. here. All right. Yeah, well, then I'm owed, I'm owed one from the, the three that pool. I got because of the collision. Yeah. So I will take that and then reset my markers. Okay. And be done. Right. So debt collector falls off. That slides down. That slides down. We're going to play the financier. Uh, when she comes into play, I can destroy a card and get two coins. So I get two coins and I'm going to destroy the laborer, which gets me another two coins. I then move three, uh, which is one, two, three. Right, I have 
one bag, two bag, three, four bags, and I can buy extra bags for coins. Mm -hmm. So I've got four already, which is one of them, and I'm going to spend 20. <laughs> for another five flips. So one, two, three, four, five flips. So I flip all of those over. There you go. And that gets me five resources. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with the five resources. Um, <laughs> not sure what's actually going to get me the most points. Probably a... Let's don't forget you have to do the action in one turn, Paul. That's the main issue. Say again? You only got one turn left. You have to do the whole action. Exactly, yeah, exactly. exactly. One turn, so, so I'm tr I'm trying to work out what will get me the most points on the last turn, and it's probably taking a grey mm -hmm. book. But for me to get a grey book, I need to move one, two, three, and then I need five ink wells, which I can, yeah I can easily do. Um. So yeah, I'll just it doesn't really matter. I'll just take loads of ink wells. So one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Um, and I think I'm drawing two cards. Yeah, that's me done. Right, so the last round of the game. Yeah, I have to see what I'm going oh, to do Oh, the criminal was here. a bag as well. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, the criminal was a bag. So I got one extra money. Thank you. But not quite enough for an extra one. Oh, well, okay, still so I'm going to move... Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, this guy drops off, this guy comes here, this guy comes here, and I'm going to play uh, this guy here, mm -hmm. a Tinker, which gives me uh, two movement points. That's one, two. I'm going to use a third one. And I'm going to build with uh, one, I have two symbols over here, three, four, five with the stone. That's one yep. of these buildings. Build stone building. Yeah, just gonna grab one because it's the same thing. Oh, and I could have recruited or destroyed five times. Oh yeah, Over because of there. this. I'm going to flip. Oh yeah, mm. just bear with us a minute. Thank you, Brett. This I, I'd forgot I had a debt collector. So every time I flip a, a thing, I could have yeah. recruited for free. Which Jeez. which Oof. I would have done. So just yeah, bear with a minute. Let me let me just do that. So that's that one for a virtue. Uh, that one for a virtue. That one for a virtue. See, I've seen the light. It's all clear mm -hmm. to me now. <laughs> right, right um, before the final curtain falls, you you started to become yeah, very pious. Yeah, actually, I that should be taking also one never with, uh, crosses on. So I'll take that one as well. I can destroy a card. I don't know whether I want to destroy a card. Um, um, what's that one? That's reshuffling my deck. I don't want to do that. Um, what's that one? That's getting a debt. I don't really want to get a debt. <laughs> uh, I'll just destroy a card with and the last one for, for fun. Okay. And then also, every time you uh, recruit, you can discard a card from your hand. So... Oh gosh, yeah, wanted, but I, I don't want to do that because then that would force me to reshuffle. Draw no, more I'm and good. reshuffle. I'm, I'm also going to give I'm you good. a gold, Paul, because when I built, uh, I joined this line over here. Oh, we we both get a gold, do we? All right, okay. Yeah, I got one, I got one, and you got one Excellent. as well. Not that it's going to matter, but... So uh, yeah. I arrived over here, right? I built... Just saying hello and, to a few um, people in the chat. James is here. Uh, Hilmar's here. I hey, Hilmar. Shif is here. And Shem's recruit. popped back in. Yes, still plenty of debts. But I got rid of, I got rid of six of them. I've got seven paid debts here. That's not bad, is it? That's me, I guess. I just draw the last card. Yep. yep. Right, Stevie. And that's my game. Turn. Yep. Yeah, I'm a little worried about this. I gotta say, how do I? Well, this part is no. No question what happens. It's just do I recruit someone or do I off a card? Hmm. If I had a reshuffle, that probably wouldn't help me too much. Or a rearrange. 
Mm, I think what I'll do is I'll hire this fella for free. He gives me a rearrange um, that isn't going to be useful because I'm not going to get another turn. And I did not find anybody with crosses, which is what I was hoping. It is a good question. Um, and also, if I destroyed a card with the debt collector, would I have been able to use the money to flip more debts? I, I was going to ask that if, if Shemi is back. Um, yeah. So basically, if I if I used four bags to flip a debt, and then when I flipped a debt, I activated the debt collector, destroyed a card, got more money, could I then use that money to buy some more bags to keep repeating the cycle. If I was allowed to, I could have probably flipped over another two cards. So I think it's not because it's the same thing that happened with my trader uh, trader pool. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's the bottom action gets resolved the after okay. the action. Yeah. Thank you. It's good to good to clarify that. So the disciple is going to move me one, and then I have four crosses on my board. So I will buy this manuscript, uh, which gets me a destroy and a virtue. And oh, very nice. You finally got your whole set. Yeah, it took long enough. I'm not yeah. sure that the destroy really helps me at this point. So... It does give you coins, know. but I don't think they're worth anything at the end. Yeah, well, I'll just do it for the sake of doing it. Right, I need to and move one, uh, two, yeah, that should be it. Right, I need to move four. So I've got a card here that I don't recognize. Where did that card come from? <laughs> Probably in your frenzy, frenzy of purchasing. Um, no, because they all went to my discard pile. Yeah, I have no idea where it was from. Um, have any of these got instant abilities? They don't, so I'm going to play it. Uh, I move three. One, two three and they're going to pay a coin to move another one uh, and then going to use four ink wells nope i've got a cleric there so i only need to pay three ink wells to take this and the immediate ability of that is i get to build a workshop now where i build a workshop i don't know yeah that's very nice you've got your whole set as well Paul. place the indicated building for free on any available building spot yeah. um well, I don't want to place it here because that gets me another debt. <laughs> I'll place it here and I'll flip another another one of those. Um, and when I flip one of those... And you get the resource. Yeah, I get a resource, but I don't think it's going to matter. Okay. Right. That's game, then... isn't it? No, not quite. Not quite because... Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm trying to do a collision. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a collision. I'm trying to get my virtue up. But I I can't. So yeah, there's a my, pill for that. Yeah, my go is over, and I'm gonna reshuffle, which means I actually do gain a virtue because I don't have any criminals on the board for the first time yeah. in ever. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's time for the great reckoning, is it? Hang on, Shem says flip and recruit. Uh, I don't. Oh, yeah. No, nope. I don't the think I that, that guy fell off. That guy fell off on that turn. Yeah, yeah. the recruit one would have just been nothing, really. So, let's add up the points, and let's go through it. And mm -hmm. here we go, end of the game. So first of all, constructed buildings as printed on top of your player board. So I've got four points for one of those, and nine points for those. So I've got 13. Nine. Okay, what's everybody else got? Nine. Only five for me. My... I've only built two. Okay. I only have two from one set. And you got nine points. And there you go. I win with 13 points. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> nice. Oh, no, there's more. Well, I mean, he is corrupt, isn't it? So... There's, there's, there's more. Yep. Uh, workers in the castle. Ooh. I've forgotten I about that. Some. So VPs for each worker equal to the tier in the castle. Okay. There's an awful lot going on here. Um, I've I've looked at this for a few minutes, and I think I've worked out that I get... One point. One point. I got nine. There you go.
Mark doesn't I mean, have enough have fingers on his hands and feet points. to count up. How many? Yeah, a 38, I believe. <laughs> One, 12. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty, twenty. Is a full 20 for the second ring, so that's 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. 38, yep. Wow. Transcribed manuscripts. So I have a full set of four, which is 16 points. Plus the points that are on them. Um, mm -hmm. Plus one point for every thing, which is one. I should have been more careful destroying them. Two. Criminals count? Nope. Oh. And don't forget the ones in your hand. Yeah, done that. No, no so count I got on those. 16 for the set of four colors. I believe 17 points for the points that are unknown. Oh, that's, that's that's not right. That's it's the 16 plus one. Let me take the 22 away. In your case, it's uh, 16 points, Paul, as well, along the with the yep. final points. Here. <clears throat> I got oh, I get, I get one extra for the first one of the second set. Is that it? Yep. Mm -hmm, yep. And then I have one here that gives me a. I thought I nope. did. Maybe I didn't buy that one. All right, never mind. I think Paul took it. <laughs> I okay. Okay. Uh, castle leader and cleric bonus cards. So okay, Mark, so I got, got five points leader. on that. You get five points. Cleric bonus cards. We didn't take any of those. Uh, unpaid debts. I only got four. That's not bad. I got one. So that's minus two points. Uh huh. And then acquired deeds at one point and approved deeds at three. So I got an extra 10. So uh, 12, so 56, 66. Okay. Then we have poverty card. If revealed, which it is, the player mm -hmm. with the most, second most, and third most deeds gets 12, 8, and 4 points. Um, I have two flipped. They've got deeds. to be flipped. I've got. I three. believe you're, three you're winning deeds. this one, Paul. No, Stevie's got, got three four. as well. Stevie, right? Uh, mm. If tied, players split the VPs evenly as possible. No, so no, I have only got two, so I have the last space. No, uh, this last is spot. this is flipped deeds. Oh, deeds. Sorry, four. sorry. I thought you were talking about that. No, I'm sorry. doing the poverty. So you've got the most. So you get twelve points. Okay. Uh, and me and Stevie get six each. Okay, and then because the prosperity card was revealed, it's who's got the most flipped debts. Ooh, Paul's got eight. I have eight. I just I'm have like two. A four. So, so I get, get the second place here for this is eight points. Yeah, I got four points because I'm lost. And that's it. Is it? Ooh, that's so. a high scoring game in my case. So that 82. Was a good game. I got 60. 51. I was I was here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I assumed I, I was believe you end actually up won the last score. one, Stevie. Well, when you started nah. when you had fifteen or so gold sitting there, uh I have to admit I got a little demoralized and said, Why even bother? So um it seems everything that I tried to do, I was bested by other folks. I know I had a couple of inefficient turns there in the middle, but I didn't think I was that far back. Yeah, well, from what I have found out, you uh, should concentrate mainly on one of the methods to get a lot of points, then just keep something on the side. For for, for example, over here, once the workers finished, I just went and built a building uh, to flip the last mm. D to get the last points I needed to be the first in the deed section. That got me a chunk of points, didn't it? I think I got so my points from various the... places. I mean, I got um, yeah. I got like 16 from the buildings. I got 16 from the manuscripts. I got about 16 from the castle. Uh, my points for here, th this pretty much cancelled out. I got 10 points for deeds, but lost eight for debts. So that, that you actually got uh, 12 points, Paul, by flipping the debts. At yeah, the end. because of that, that got me the 12 points. So yeah, yeah. I, I got my points yeah. from four different sources and I got I got roughly the same amount. For the end game scoring, I got 18. For my manuscripts, I got 18. 
for my buildings I got 16 and for people in the castle I got about 14 or 15. So that, that, that's where my points came from, four different places. Um, yeah, it's a great game. I, I, I really enjoy it. As I say, I, th I think I just would need to play it again within the next few weeks to be, to be a bit better. I definitely overdid it on the corruption. But to be fair, I think 60 points compared to 82, whilst that's a big loss, I, I, I yeah, I don't know. The, the taking the corruption, I don't know if it is a strategy. Shem, if you're still in the chat, let us know. Um, oh, I'm, can sure you, I'm sure it is. Can, can you, yeah, really, really go for it? In, in which case, how does it work? Do you need cards that are constantly flipping the, the debts over yes. and then things that combo with them? I believe I got uh, more than the current points I've got from that tactic, Paul. Right. It's, it depends what cards come out. That's the biggest issue. Right. As you saw, if you got a, if you can combo your flips, it's crazy, simply crazy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, after twenty-five to thirty plays of this game, uh, mostly mm -hmm. solo though, uh, the, my best tactics were those two. It's either the castle uh, along with something else on the side. Right. Uh, it but it does depend what comes out. The castle is a bit better uh, because whatever comes out, you can still uh profit from it okay well the artist was something i was looking forward to yeah i didn't think she would come out um uh, and the flipping cards well there's some really 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 good flipping cards in these mm -hmm. and it's a, it goes a bit crazy if you get the combo you have won for sure because at the end of the day uh even the castle doesn't make up for that point right. difference okay yeah, Shem's saying the merchant strategy is good for flipping debts and deeds. Uh, and Janos says, with a lot of debt, you should seek cards which can flip. Uh, also, I've just noticed that Shem's comment earlier on got deleted by Google, by the Google moderator team. So I can tell you what it was. Um, Shem was basically saying that there is a free uh, iOS and Android app that will do the scoring. It's like an electronic score pad. Um, he put it in the chat and then Google decided to remove it. So yeah, naughty Google. Um, anyway, yeah, we're all done. Thank you very much for you two for playing. Really enjoyed it, even though, as I say, not really knowing what I was doing, but rules-wise, I now know how to play. I, th I think it's a game that definitely needs a few plays. Um, yeah, and I as you so say, too. Mark, it's, yeah, it's reacting to what cards are available. You can't go into the game and say, well, I, I guess you can. You can go into a game and say, I'm going to try and do this, but then right from the start, the cards that you drafted at the start and the cards that are available and everything else, you're going to have to adapt to that, I think. Yes. Yeah. To put you in the picture, there were no Fleur de Lis at the beginning, Paul. Right. There were none. Okay. So. But you decided to go down the heavy gold. Yep. And it turned out that the Fleur de Lis came afterwards, so. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. the way the game goes. Yeah, they've got to be in there somewhere. Yeah. Cool. Right. Well, I will say goodbye to you two. Thank you again. Uh, and for the rules refresher just before we started. Thoroughly enjoyable game. And I'll say we'll have to do it again, but maybe in less than six months time. <laughs> Definitely. Let's count Thank on. you for the game. Yeah. Right. I'll speak to you both later on. Okay. If you've been watching, uh, thank you very much for joining in the chat. Thank you very much for spotting the couple of rules mistakes that we made in the, uh, in the castle and things like that. Um, and if you like the video, obviously, please give the video a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment if you're watching this. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Uh, this video is not a sponsored playthrough. It, these videos are only made possible through the support of my Patreon campaign. So if you enjoy the content that I create, please consider supporting the channel at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Patreon supporters get access to a lot of uh, behind the scenes videos, including another one, which is going to be going live in about 10 or 15 minutes time. Not a very interesting one, but they get access to all sorts of behind the scenes videos. Uh, entry into competitions and access to the Gaming Rules Community Slack channel. So yeah, big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for making this possible. Uh, big thank you to Shem for being in the chat and we'll see you next time. Take care everybody. Good night. Proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.